the mapping for combined transformations is shown. In part A, if the point 2, 0 exists on the graph of y equals f of x, find the coordinates of the new point after the transformation y equals f of negative 2x plus 4. Before we can use the mapping equations, we need to rewrite the function in a way that lets us easily read off the parameters. Factor negative 2 from the binomial within the function. Next, write the binomial with double signs. When we compare this transformation to y equals a times f of b x minus h plus k, we can see that b equals negative 2 and h equals positive 2. Also note that a equals 1 and k equals 0. Now we'll find the transformed point using a mapping. We can separate the mapping into two distinct equations. Plug in 2 for the initial x value, negative 2 for the b value, and 2 for the h value. This simplifies to negative 1 plus 2. The transformed x-coordinate is 1. Next, plug in 0 for the initial y-value, 1 for the a-value, and 0 for the k-value. The transformed y-coordinate is 0. The point 2, 0 becomes 1, 0 after the transformation is applied. Now we'll move on to part b. If the point 5, 4 exists on the graph of y equals f of x, find the coordinates of the new point after the transformation y equals 1 over 2 f of 5x minus 10 plus 4. Before we can use the mapping equations, we need to rewrite the function in a way that lets us easily read off the parameters. Factor 5 from the binomial within the function. Next, write the binomial with double signs. The b parameter is 5 and the h parameter is 2. The a parameter is 1 half and the k parameter is positive 4. Now we'll find the transformed point using a mapping. We can separate the mapping into two distinct equations. Plug in 5 for the initial x value, 5 for the b value, and 2 for the h value. This simplifies to 1 plus 2. The transformed x-coordinate is 3. Next, plug in 4 for the initial y-value, 1 half for the a-value, and 4 for the k-value. This simplifies to 2 plus 4. The transformed y-coordinate is 6. The point 5, 4 becomes 3, 6 after the transformation is applied. In part c, the point m, n exists on the graph of y equals f of x. If the transformation y equals 2, f of 2, x plus 5 is applied to the graph, the transformed point is 4, 7. Find the values of m and n. Begin by identifying the parameters in the transformation.
a equals 2, b equals 2, h equals 0, and k equals 5. Now we'll find the original point using a mapping. We can separate the mapping into two distinct equations. In this question, we know the final transformed point, 4, 7. We need to use algebra to find the coordinates of the original point. Plug in 4 for the transformed x-coordinate, m for the initial x-coordinate, and 2 for the b-value. Multiply both sides by 2. This gives us m equals 8. Next, plug in 7 for the transformed y-coordinate, n for the initial y-coordinate, 2 for the a-value, and 5 for the k-value. Simplify. Divide both sides by 2. This gives us n equals 1. The original point was 8, 1, so m equals 8 and n equals 1.